Hello everybody, this is Stringing Me here for a different kind of video. And we are finally doing our Dinosaur King move card tier list. I don't even remember the last tier list, when the last tier list video went up, it was like two years ago. But yeah, we're finally back to do the uh, move cards. And we're going to do the normal moves in this session, so we're not going to do super moves yet. I will save that for another day. When making this tier list, I will take numerous things into account, like how much damage the move can do, any special effects that the move has, and its, and, well, its usefulness in tournament play. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin, shall we? So up first, we have got Alpha Darts. Okay, Alpha Darts for me is a rogue. That's a that's a rogue move, because it's very, it's you obviously do the spinny thing and... The damage depends on where the dart lands. If it's the statue, then you do an arse to the damage. One advantage that Alpha Darts does have is that it ignores the uh, the damage that the dinosaur itself does, the base damage that the dinosaur has. So if you use something with a really strong crit, like a T-Rex, for example, you could use Alpha Darts for the scissors move, and the damage will be the same as if you used Alpha Darts on Sorophaganex. It's a, a very fun move. I enjoy Alpha Darts. Okay, Alpha Dice. Again, for the same reason as uh, Alpha Darts, Rogue Tier, not much to say, really. Everything that I just said about Alpha Darts pretty much applies to Alpha Dice as well. Um, Alpha Missile. I probably consider a different move. Here's the thing. I don't think the move is, like, garbage garbage, but it's the fact that it has that possible delay to when the rocket lands and i think that does hurt the move to a degree because by then you could lose by then your dinosaur could die by then i mean sometimes it can land straight away and it's fine but that's not always the case so yeah i would probably consider a different move for alpha missa all righty then Anyang, we're a dive and well while we're at it we might as well do the other dive moves okay they're going into a tier Okay, so yeah, a, a tier for the dive moves, they're very good. In fact, they actually see a lot of play in official tournaments as well in Japan. So, yeah, you can't say they're bad moves. I think they're solid moves, very good moves. Okay, what we got next? Archaeotrix Charm is an interesting one. I don't necessarily think it's the best heal move in the game. It does have one advantage that the other heal moves don't. And that's that it can actually remove a lot of deep, pretty much any debuff effect. So... If your dinosaur gets hit by shockwave, the Archaeopteryx charm will cancel it out. The problem with Archaeopteryx charm, though, is that the, the health you gain is a little bit random. So sometimes you'll gain, like, a ton of health, and then other times you won't. You only gain, like, a tiny bit. So for that reason, I'm going to put it in B tier, but definitely a solid, solid move. And very good against dinosaurs that use debuff moves, like shockwave okay atomic bomb well these are just standard damage moves so i'm gonna put them into c tier they're nothing too they're nothing too special i would probably say tail smash net crusher and kamikaze tackle are probably the best ones because they have compatibility with more dinosaurs because with these moves the amount of damage that these moves do depends on the strength of your dinosaur so atomic bomb for example works best on dinosaurs that have 1400 or 1600 hp you know around that level of technique but it doesn't do doesn't work well on gold dinosaurs so i'll, I'll make it quick all the moves are going to be in c tier all the attacking moves will be in c there's no, they're nothing too special okay attack boost okay attack boost is a tier a solid a solid move you know pretty good damage buff yeah enough said attack boost i think it's slightly worse on the fact that it's conditional but if you do get it off the buff is larger but yeah with these moves the buff does depend on the technique of your dinosaur if you have a dinosaur with high technique you get more of an attack boost uh banana surprise now banana surprise is i think is actually a good move it's a damage based it's a damage move it does damage depending on what your dinosaur is and it actually has a shockwave effect but not always. But yeah, I think it's actually a really good move. I'm going to put it in A tier. I actually think Banana Surprise is one of the better alpha moves in the game. Okie dokie. Okay, so Counter Attack Recovery or Recovery. Um, I think it's better than Archaeopteryx Charm. But again, I think where it falls short is its condition and its compatibility. You, you really need a dinosaur with 800 plus technique for Recovery to be that really effective. And it, you do have to get hit by a crit for it to get triggered so conditional but i think when you get it if you get when you get it off then yeah it is a really good recovery move and i do put it above archaeopteryx charm okay crit block uh b tier standard remove your opponent's crit if you beat it yeah not too bad uh defense boost i'm gonna put in b tier i think attack boost is better 
defense boost is good on more defensive dinosaurs, but yeah, it's, in my opinion, I don't think it has the impact that attack boost could ha would have. So I'm going to put defense boost in B tier. Okay, defense burst. Yeah, okay, I'll put it next to attack burst. These two are practically the same. Okay, dino stuffer is S tier. Dino stuffer is the best alpha move in the game. It's just so good. It saw tons of tournament play. It sees t it sees play in my tournaments. It sees play in actual actual tournaments. Yeah, it's just a phenomenal move, and it is by far the best alpha move in the game, hands down. You won't argue with me. You won't argue that one. You won't argue against it. Okay, Dromeo Rush, and we might as well do the other rushes. Um, I'm going to put them in A tier. I think they're good moves. It's very similar to the dive moves, but I think they lower technique a bit as well. So actually, no, I'll put them, I'll put them by here. I think the uh, damage is slightly less than the dive moves do. So I'm going to put them slightly below the dives. Okay, next up we have Elemental Power. Now, Elemental Power is an interesting one because it's only good if A, you have a super move, or your opponent has a super. So I'm going to put elemental power. I th I think it's above defense boost. Because I think it does have a bigger impact than defense boost. But I don't think it's A tier. But I think these two combo together would be A tier. Okie dokie. Um, what have we got next? Okay, so we got the food cards. Um, I'm going to put them in rogue. I think they're very conditional. That one, your dinosaur has to be on low health for it to get triggered. And two... Your dinosaur has to win with a specific sign, which really hurts it. If that wasn't the case, I would be inclined to put them in B tier. But I just, and I do think this slay, I, I think they can be good if you get the compatibility right. But yeah, it's a lot of conditions. Uh, Alpha Troop, uh, yeah, consider building another move. Never really rated this move. Hardly see this move used in any of my tournaments. Yeah, I don't think the move is that great, to be honest. And, and while we're at it. I'll add the uh, other two in here as well because <laughs> there's no difference. Okay, Final Fury is an interesting one. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in C. I, if you use it with the right dinosaur, it can be very, very effective. But again, it relies on your dinosaur being on low health, so you're, it's kind of a, it's a very good comeback move. Okay, Haste is like the worst move in the game. If you if you're playing against a bot, the Haste isn't gonna phase them. If you're playing again, if you're using it from one of my tournaments, well, you won't because I ban it. It's not going to do anything. The only use that haste has is when you're fighting an actual person. Because then you can use that, like, psychology, you know, you can force your opponent to pick their move first before you pick yours. And that's about it. And even, it even doesn't do that well. So, yeah, haste is, like, the worst move in the game. It is awful. Okay, we got Lillian Cure again. C tier. I don't think I don't think the move's that great. I don't think it's that bad. One advantage it does have is it your dinosaur doesn't actually have to be hit for it to get triggered. It just gets triggered if your dinosaur isn't on full health. But again, it has the two time limit limitation, and you have to. I believe you have to win with paper to use it as well. So yeah, and the heal isn't that great. Like just use light recovery. Light recovery is just better than Lillian Cure in every way. Okay, Life Force Swap is in S tier. Yeah, is banned is banned from my tournaments for a reason. Life Force Swap can literally win you the fight. It can win fights on its own. It's yeah, it's busted. Absolutely busted. Okay, Light Recovery is in A tier. I I think it's the best recovery move in the game because of its versatility. It can be used on practically any dinosaur. It you don't have to get hit by a crit for it to get triggered. You just have to get hit. You don't have to win with scissors for it to activate. You just have to win. Light recovery is just Lillian. Is what Lillian Cure should be, really. Let's be honest. Okay, move block is an interesting one. I'm going to put it in rogue tier. Because I don't see it a lot in my tournaments. Well, not really at all. But it is quite a decent move. So, yeah, for it to get activated. You have to win with rock. And the Trodons basically apply an aqua vortex effect onto your opponent. So yeah, move block, I think is underrated in my opinion. I don't think it's any higher than Rogue. But yeah, I think it's a decent move. Uh, move breaker, I'm going to put it in C. I think, it's, I think it's decent. I don't think it's as good as Final Fury. I'm going to put it between the uh, food moves and the uh, regular vanilla moves, as I like to call it. Yeah, move, move break is a decent move. You know, again, has an aqua vortex effect. But you can only get it doing ties. 
Actually, now that I think about it, I gotta put move block in uh, C tier. I think move block is better than move breaker. Okay, power drain. Power drain. It's very similar to the alpha troopers, but I think it does it does do more damage. And it does give you a tiny amount of health back. And for that reason, I am going to put it. I'm gonna put it slight. I'm gonna put it by here uh, in C tier. I think because of its extra effects, I think it is slightly better than the uh, vanilla moves. Okay, skydive. Quetzer comes in, lowers your opponent's technique. The damage, I believe, is set. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in C. I don't think it's that amazing, but I do think. Lowering its technique, lowering the opponent's technique by 200 doesn't really do much, if I gotta be honest. Okay, up next we have got Softening Beam. Now this is this will be an interesting one. I, I'm actually gonna put this in A tier, and I think it's better than Banana Surprise. So Softening Beam, it analyzes your dinosaur, the opponent's dinosaur, reduces your opponent's defense in a tie. So. To put it in simpler terms, your opponent takes more damage during a tie. So it has the same effect as Sand Trap. Yeah, it's kind of like Banana Surprise. I think it's a very nice alpha move. Okay, we are on Stun Dash. Hmm. Again, Stun Dash is kind of similar to Skydive, but it does slightly more damage. I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it in C. I think I think these moves are on par with each other. I don't think they're the most amazing moves in the world, but. No, they, they could be decent, they could be decent. The, the technique deep nerf is kind of meh, to be honest. Okay, we are on to tag team. So, tag team is basically like Dino Stuffer and Dino Illusion, where you can avoid an attack. But, you have to get hit quite a few times for it to get triggered. So, that does, that is quite a big nerf to it. But, I do think it's a decent move, and I think it's decent enough to be B tier. Because it can save you from losing. It really can. It is a decent move. But if you're using a wind dinosaur, Dino Illusion is just 50 million times better than Tag Team. And well, again, if you're not using it, actually, now that I think about it. Because if it's a rock move the same as Dino Stuffer, but for me, Dino Stuffer is just infinitely better. <laughs> but it's certainly not the worst move in the game. Okay, up next we got Technique Boost. Now, Technique Boost is an interesting one because... This sees a lot of play in my tournaments. So much, in fact, I had to limit it because people were just using it constantly. I, it's a high A for me. I don't think it's S tier, but in terms of the boost moves, I feel like it's the best one in the sense that you can equip it onto any dinosaur, give it an insanely high amount of technique and make it you, and then it could use practically any move. The only drawback is that it does take a while to set up. That is pretty much the only downside, but it's hardly a downside. The technique boost you get is insane. So yeah, it's, it's an A tier. I don't think it's S tier. Again, if it didn't, if you could set it up right away, it would probably be S tier. But no, I think it's A tier. It sees a lot of play. And okay, what we got next? We have got tie attack. Ooh, now tie attacks. I think the tie attack's a decent one. I think it's B tier though. I don't think it's A tier. I think it's B tier. Because you do have to eat up a rock move. But yeah, it has very good um, synergy with any dinosaurs that are tie specialists. So tie types, charge types, I believe willpower types, you know, dinosaurs like that. Definitely benefit from tie attack. And tie attack basically increases your damage, the damage you deal during a tie. But it's continuous. You know, it's, 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 there's no limitation to how many times it happens. It just keeps happening. And if you combo it off with moves like Softening Beam and aforementioned battle types, then yeah, it could be really deadly. The one downside is that it's rock. That is a big, big downside. More than people realise, because a, a lot of the move removal moves, in fact, pretty much all of them, are rock. Shockwave is a rock move. Critical Block is a rock move. You know, I think the only real exception is Banana Surprise, but the move removal is not random. So yeah, if you use tie attack, you can't use shockwave or crit block to force a tie. So that is a big downside, and I'm sure Sega did that on purpose. Okay, now for tie bomb. Okay, tie bomb is pretty good, but again, it does take a lot of setup, so I am gonna put it in B tier. Like, like, unlike tie, I feel like tie attack is just better, despite having a rock move. 
So Tide Bomb, the one thing Tide Bomb does have over Tide Attack is that it's a paper move. So you can use Crit Block and Shockwave to force them ties. Its downside is that it does take a while to, you know, to set up. But if you do stack the bombs, then wow, you could do a lot of damage. But when you do stack the bombs, the odds are the opponent's dinosaur is going to be on low health anyway. So stacking up loads of bombs kind of becomes irrelevant. Okay, now this one's an interesting one because this is Tie Trap. And this is one of the moves, well, this is the only move that when, when I um, decoded all these moves for the emulator, this is this is the one move that didn't get a card release. That didn't even know it existed. I still, I didn't even know what it does. So apparently, I think it's something to do with uh, technique, reducing your opponent's technique during a tie. But because I'm not 100% sure on how this move works, I am going to put it in Rogue. Okay, that moves us on to Triple Head, but again, it's, it's uh, another move similar to Skydive and Stun Dash. So yeah, C tier. Nothing too special. It's pretty much the scissors version of these two moves. And that actually brings us to our final move, Venom Fang. I'm going to put Venom Fang into B tier. I think it deserves B tier. It's a solid move. It's compat. It's um, compatibility because it's only it's at its most effective when used with a weaker dinosaur. But because of the poison damage, that kind of doesn't kind of makes the uh, compatibility irrelevant for me. And yeah, the fact that it's scissors as well definitely helps it out because a lot a lot of the heavy hitting dinosaurs have rock or paper crits. You know, there's not that many that have. A scissors crit, well, Carnotaurus being one. And, oh well, a Carno and a Margosaurus are the two that come to my mind at first. But yeah, a Venom Fang, a solid move, a solid beast tier move. And yeah, that is it. That is it for the move card tier list. So two moves made into S tier. And we have quite a few A tiers, A's and B's, mostly C tiers, because these are all the damage based moves and the food cards. A few rogues and then some not so good moves. Do you agree with my tier list? Do you think I've underestimated or overestimated certain moves? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And until next time, ta-ta!